So I brought home one of these Ecobee thermostats used for testing when hooked up on a system with a Taco zone sensory valve actuator. What we have is we have some water source heat pumps on a job where we get in some er radical clicks of the circuit board and the fan relay. And it turns out it is the Ecobee going totally haywire nuts and turning the fan relay off and on erratically and possibly the compressor contactor as well. And what I've determined is it does this whenever the Taco valve is hooked up to the 24 volt system. It doesn't matter where it's hooked up, if it's hooked up after, like usually they're wired after on the Y1 outputs, but it doesn't matter where this is hooked up. I can just hook this up to 24 volts right off the transformer and it will screw up that Ecobee and make its output go nuts if it was energized. Right now I have um, Ecobee hooked up and already the 24 volt sine wave, which I'm doing picture in picture, has some crazy um, distort, a little bit of distortion on it already. That is coming from the Ecobee. And then when I turn this on, it really goes nuts. So I'm gonna disconnect this Taco valve and I'm gonna turn on the fan. Now right now you'll see over there 28 volts is what my transformer is putting out. So fan on. And I have the fan to the contactor so you can hear it and see it. That sine wave didn't change at all. Pulled down to 27 volts with the contactor. Well, let me just leave this on. I want to show you what happens. This is just hooked up to common, the black wire going to common, and then right here, this goes to uh, the green wire. So this is going to be on the output. Watch what happens to that sine wave and watch, the, listen to the contactor. Look at that noise. And there goes the contactor to start clicking and doing nasty stuff. It's charging its capacitors in here, which is what it says it does when the LED it's got a switching power supply, and that switching power supply is making a crap load of noise on the 24 volt sine wave. This thing usually clicks way worse than that, but you can hear it clicking. It's going nuts. And then once this is charged up, it opens up, which it just did, and now a click, you just get a click every once in a while, and, the, and you get the distortion every once in a while on the sine wave, which is just a trickle charging the capacitors, I suppose. And then the reason they have capacitors in here, which I took apart and figured out, they have high microfarad capacitors. They're basically like a battery storage. When you take the power away, it's using the motor to close the valve. It's not using a spring. And those capacitors hold quite a bit of power, and that motor is able to um, be energized in reverse. And it can energize it for quite a while. So like when I connect this, it only blinks for a couple seconds, and then it's stops blinking because the capacitor was still pretty charged up like it just did. If you leave that turned off for quite a while, the uh, it, then you'll get the longer duration to charge up the capacitors again. So isn't that nuts? And for some reason, this thing didn't click as much as it usually does. It usually goes absolutely nuts. That click, 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 click. So let me turn on to cool. Okay, now it just turned on the fan and the other relay. I'm waiting for this thing to discharge a little bit before I connect it, but see if it makes it. See, that's what it does. See all the noise on there? It makes these relays and now it's charged up. It's really bad when it's charging the capacitor. So if, I, if, you, so if this unit's off for several minutes and that motor that's trying to turn and close the valve is able to discharge the capacitors fully, which seems to take a minute or two, you get that clickety clack for like that full 30 second duration that it's charging up the capacitors. During this, the, the, whole, the person that's in their apartment can just hear this thing going nuts. Plus, we, the uh, Climate Master circuit board sees this on off, on off, on off of the states of the, its inputs, and it uh, occasionally will go into a bizarre, you know, function or, or say that it's got an uh, alarm lockout when it didn't, like say a condenser overflow alarm when it didn't or the other day i saw one say high pressure fault it was blinking twice click 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 uh in the climate master but yet the climate master still cooled cycled on and off so it puts the microprocessor in a weird state on the climate master circuit board from these uh inputs going nuts because of the eco so i don't know whose you know ultimate fault it is the taco valve is making horrendous noise on the 24 volt sine wave and the Ecobee is an overly sensitive little biatch. Every other job we've used these Taco valves on the same Climate Master water pump. 
water source heat pumps or other water source heat pumps, we've had no problems. Even though evidently these do make a noise, so that's an, that's definitely a design flaw from Taco. And then these being a sensitive little biatch is a design flaw because it's you know these aren't going to be working together. I guess ultimately it's it's this fault, and we'd have to change these to another brand or something, or just a, one that's just directly powered by 24 volts and then spring closes. I don't know. So we have an 18-story building full of apartments of these being used together, and so far the fix is to disconnect the takeo valves from the system. And uh, there's not that much occupancy in this brand new apartment yet. So evidently, as they keep putting people in there, they're going to keep getting work orders for clickety noises and no cools and stuff like that. And then as we go in there, we're going to, you know, be unplugging these on a case by case basis. Of course, that kind of sucks because the reason these are there is when you don't use a compressor, this shuts the water supply off. The more units that are down, the less water flow you need, and then the VFDs could slow down and save them some energy from running the pumps, the system closed loop pumps. So taking these off is immediate fix to clickety sounds and the you know no cool complaints when the circuit board wigs out, but taking away the efficiency of the building when you do that. So now let me connect this again. It's probably been a couple minutes of me chit-chatting. And there you go. Just totally nuts. See, that's when that's blinking. And this is not opening yet. Get a little bit of randomness there, but that's normal when you're opening and closing a contactor to see the 24-volt signal go up and down like that a little bit. Okay, just charged up and opened. And now the clicks are less frequent. But that's still horrendous, isn't it? <laughs> so, okay, so one last thing. Let me go ahead and unplug the Ecobee from its base and watch that sine wave. It'll become pure. So the electronics in here, which is, you know, it's going to rectify the 24 volts to a, to a uh, DC power, be over 30 volts probably, and then that DC power is uh, feeding into the voltage regulator which they're using a DC to DC switching power supply just like uh, I am doing on some of my circuit boards I have that little chip oops, right there coil capacitors for the input and output you know I could put 12 volts in here and, and then this will use the buck style DC to DC to power up this capacitor to 5 volts to run my microprocessor and the, the Whatever I got hooked up to it. This is doing a similar thing. It's got a little power supply in there. And so it is this. So this one, just being on the system, there. I can hook this back up. Look at that. It's clipping the 24 volts just a little bit. But the takeo valve, just okay, which anytime you have it hooked up to 24 volts, which I'll just do right here. Look what it does with that sine wave. Just destroys it, just <laughs> obliterates it. Look at that. That is some horrendous noise. Until it boot until it fully charges. And then it still does it just less frequently. So yep. So anybody that uses this Ecobee with these valves and you got a bunch of weirdness going on, that's what it is. Probably try to send this video to Ecobee and Take a see what they have to say. They're gonna blame each other, but the video, the oscilloscope doesn't lie. The takeo valve definitely creating a lot of noise.